want to share this kind of endlessly modulating line. At least in theory, it could be end endlessly modulating. If we didn't run out of guitar, there might be a way to, again, jump octaves and come back up and continue it. I haven't gotten into that yet. But I found this in a search for ways of modulating in back cycling fourths, which means we're going from the bottom right side of the circle of fifths back towards the middle. So we're going to go from B minor to E minor to A minor to D minor to G minor. And you'll see that. Our first little line section here, I'm going to call out the pitches because I relate to those more than fret numbers. See if you can follow along. This is usually an area of the fingerboard that's a little bit murky for folks. So maybe this will fill in some fretboard recognition. And again, if you can share the videos on my channel with people who you know that might be interested, who haven't come across them, I'd greatly appreciate it. Please feel free to like and leave a comment. I like to read what your thoughts are. And if you have suggestions for future videos, please leave them in the comments below. So we're going to start here on D, D, C sharp, B, back to D, minor third. Then we shift down a half step up a minor third, D, C sharp, B, D, C sharp, B, A sharp, C sharp. Now we're going to shift with our first finger to B. This B is makes a 1-5-1. One, one. In B minor, but this final B note is also the first note of a phrase in E minor. And there becomes a situation where there's an interesting fingering symmetry that happens. Once we're here at B, B, G, F sharp, reach up a minor third, G, switch strings, third finger, and right behind your third finger, whenever you switch strings, put your first finger and go up a minor third, then down a whole step. Now we're going to go down a third. So we switch strings, we bring in our first finger, up a minor third. Now we're going to go down a third from C. So from here, pitch names, B, G, F sharp, A, G, E, D sharp, F sharp, E, C, B, D, C, A, G sharp, that's part of E7. There's B, part of E7, A minor. Now from A, we go down a third, down a half step to the first finger, up a minor third, back down a whole step, then back down to D. We have to slide now because we have only one string left. C sharp at the ninth fret, up a whole minor third, and to resolve to D minor, but that D minor eventually becomes the beginning of a line in G minor. So for your ear slowly. Can be of some interest and inspiration to you. Maybe you, it finds a way into your vision of the board and perhaps into your improvising. I might try to work out a more fleshed version with bass notes accompanying. This is how I make these things up is sit around and play and see what's of interest and what catches my ear and also responding to your suggestions. So if you've watched this far, I appreciate it very much. Let me know if you do have suggestions for future videos that you'd be interested to see. And I do wish you a very good day.